Hello and welcome to my Sega Dreamcast unboxing video. Uh, this is my Sega Dreamcast. It came today in the post. I just got home from school, so I'm incredibly tired. And if I say anything stupid, it's because I'm tired. So you can see here it's in its original box. It's actually pretty good quality. Uh, the blue is slightly faded. It looks a lot darker in the camera actually, but it is quite a light blue actually. Uh, there's a lot of dents and scrapes. But considering it's over 15 years old now, it's it's pretty good. So let's just uh, open it. I like the uh, I do quite like the design of the box and the drink us all there. Uh, and all their boxes they had like the name of what was in it there, and obviously this is the drink cost in it. Um, it's the same on both sides there. On that. It's a very, it's a really nice box though. Uh, attention warning thing. Uh, postage stuff. Same on the back. Up here. You can see here, there's all the instructions and stuff. With the drink off logo there. Um, there's the race controller. You can't really see it very well. Uh, race controller, I'm not sure what that one is. That's like a big square version of the controller. The controller and the uh, visual memory. Uh, oh, arcade stick. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. But that's about it for the back there. So, let's open it up. I'll probably be doing another. Oh god, I can't even control where I'm putting this box. Right. There, that's a good box. I haven't actually opened this yet either, so I will be just as surprised as you are if it's fake. there, uh, I think it's upside down, but there's the controller, paper there, ooh, I can see the controller, it's not in the box, oh, so that's a uh, second controller that the eBay seller sent me, um, there's the uh, controller box, it's really nice, it's got instructions on the back and the Sega logo, uh, I'll take a look at that in a minute, oh. I actually can't believe I'm holding this, I've seen so many YouTube videos on it, but here's the controller here. It's got one stick, A, B, X, and Y. Same as the Xbox. I think the Xbox controller was actually based on this. They just had another stick down there. And a D-pad there. It's quite chunky, but it feels quite good. And you've got two triggers here. And then there's the slot for the visual memory and the rumble pack or the microphone or whatever else they made to plug in. And there's the bit where you plug into the console. Uh, there's a big blue bit there. I'm assuming you fold down. Yep, I was right. Uh, here's the rumble pack. This is all just kind of crammed in. I don't think it was originally like this. Uh, you can see that plugs into the back here. I'm assuming into there. Not the front. Actually, no, it doesn't look like it's the front. Uh, I'll have to check that out later. I've never ever touched one of these consoles but they just look so awesome. Um there's the visual memory in its original box. That is really nice. So there. And this is the instructions on the back. Uh, and here is the console. Oh here it is. I am honestly just so surprised I actually have this. But you can see here's the. Uh, I don't want to drop it because it's just so awesome. Power button, open, uh, Dreamcast logo. There's the plugs on the back and the dial up internet thing, which I think I used to have, but my dad kind of cut it off, which is annoying. There's the controller plugs. There's some instructions and stuff under there. Uh, we'll look in more detail in that in my review video, which I will probably leave a link. Unless the weird glitch happens again, where I can leave a link. Um, here is the, uh, the case is cracked on it, but this is the dream key, I'm assuming this is, it's like a, I think it's a setup thing, teaches you how to set up the console, so let's open it up, yep, it's got the CD in there, dream key, uh, we have lots of this paper, so I'm assuming it's the original, um, I got 
Uh, they actually sent me this with uh, the game Choo Choo Rocket. Uh, it appears to be a kid's game, but I'll probably have a lot of fun playing it anyway. It's pretty good. Uh, we have another Rumble Pack, probably for the second controller. We have... Uh, this is the... Uh, TV out and AV in plug thing there. I won't bother to unravel that. I'll do that later. Uh, and here is the power cord. This is a British Dreamcast, which is why it has the blue swirl and not the yellow swirl that they used in uh, America or the orange swirl they used in Japan. But you can see there's a British three pin plug and a thing to plug in there. Uh, I think that may be it. Oh, no, we've got a manual or something. Uh, Dreamcast Solutions, this is, uh, Virtual Fighter 3 TB, I'm not quite sure. It looks pretty good, actually. Uh, this has some kind of game manual thing just for the Dreamcast. It shows all the games and stuff that will be coming out and add-ons. I don't know, this is pretty good. And here, this is the, they must have lost the other side, but this is what was meant to hold the, con the console, I think, into place. But there's only one of these, so they must have lost the other one. Uh, there's a lot of this paper, which I'm assuming it came with. And that looks like it. Yeah, so you just get that blue thing there. That's probably where the controller was sat. And this looks absolutely awesome. So... I hope you enjoyed my little video on the Sega Dreamcast, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.